Hi everyone, welcome to our Language Basics series. I am Elena and I am the Athens expert. Elena of Jayway, not the Helen of Troy. So welcome, as today we will introduce you to some basic key phrases so you can be an expert in the Greek language when you visit Greece. Let's brush up your Greek language skills so you'll be ready for your trip to Greece. Did you know that Greek is one of the richest languages in the world? Actually, it's one of the most ancient languages in the world. And we have over 5 million words. 5 million, can you imagine? Well, of course, we don't have time to teach everything today, and I don't even know the 5 million words. But let's start with the basics. How we're going to say hello and greet someone when you just come. Hello is actually used also to say goodbye, which is yeah. Yeah, so when you say yeah to someone, you mean hello, yeah. Or when you're leaving, you also say yeah. The second way to approach and to greet someone, someone again, it's a little bit less informal and uh, kind and sweet, and you say yasu, yasu. Or when you leave again, you say yasu. The third way, if you want to approach someone in a more professional manner and uh, more formal, uh, you will say yasas, ya sas, yasas. So again, as we said, you can use the same word to greet someone when you leave. Yasas. Let's look at where the words come from. So the word ya, which is iya, and it means health. So you kind of wishing to someone health. Yasas. It's a nice way to approach someone. So now that we've learned how to wish good health upon a person by greeting them with ya, yasu, and ya, we're ready to move on to the next famous Greek word, and that is kalimera. Kalimera is a very important word. It's a way to wish someone a very good morning. This is actually what the word itself, kali, mera, implies. Kali means good, mera, day. Kalimera, kalimera. You'll hear it a lot when you're traveling around Greece, so it's one of the words you definitely want to use. Kalimera, kalimera. And of course, you know, you can pronounce it differently. You can say kalimera, 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 kalimera. And when you're telling someone when you're leaving, as we saw in ya, yeah, we can say we can wish someone a great day. So again, we can say kalimera, kalimera. So now that you've mastered to say good morning, kalimera, and good day, kalimera, now let's move on to how to say good evening. Kalispera, kalispera. As you'll see, the word kali is used again, kalispera. And then when you want to wish someone a good night, again, you use the word kali, but instead of spera, we use nichta, kali nichta, kali nichta, good night. Kalimera, kalispera, kali nichta, kalimera, kalispera, kali nichta. So how are you feeling? Confident with your Greek skills? Okay, now we have to learn how to say yes and no in Greek. Let's start with a yes. Ne. 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 Definitely, I think you're going to be saying a lot of yes. A lot of yes to food, to the sun, to the sea. I think uh, it's a wonderful experience to visit Greek. Greece and I can't wait to see you here. So you want to come to Greece? Ne. Right? Ne. Come on, let me hear you saying it. Ne. Okay. So now that we learned how to say ne, yes, we have to say no. Ohi. 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 As you'll come to see traveling around Greece, you will realize that the Greeks are very expressive people and they use their hands a lot when making gestures. So when you say ohi or ohi, that means no. Ohi. So now that we've learned how to say our yes and no, ne, nohi, let's move to the next phrase, and that is how we say thank you. Evharisto, evharisto, evharisto. Easy, right? Evharisto, thank you. If you want to say the word please in Greek, it is parakalo, parakalo, please, parakalo. If you want to say excuse me, so if you want to pass, you have to say me sihorite. Me sihorite, which means basically, excuse me. Me, me, sihorite. Me sihorite. So we Greeks are very much into wishing good health upon uh, people, as we saw with our ya, yasu, and yasas. So let's uh, learn the word, a very popular word that you're going to be tempted to say a lot. You're going to be forced to say a lot of cheers. And especially if you're traveling through Crete, you have to say cheers. Yamas. Okay, so. 
llamas. Okay, now, if you've been paying attention, you'll know that the word ya has a special meaning, and that means health. Llamas. So again, health to us. Llamas. Cheers. Llamas. So since you've been such wonderful students, and we've seen that the Greek language is very rich, it has five million words, I'm going to teach you one word which a lot of people don't actually, there's no actual translation to it, and it's the word meraki. Meraki is a beautiful, genuine word that means doing something with passion, doing something that you love. And you'll see a lot of that, a lot of dedication, traveling through the Greek islands, you'll see the beautiful hospitality, the warmth of the Greek people. I can definitely say that here at J-Way, our people have meraki. We're very passionate about what we do. We love designing our custom itineraries for our guests, and we can't wait to see you traveling again. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed learning some basic Greek, brush up your Greek skills, and I can't wait to see you in Greece. Thank you for watching. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Yeah.